Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial on Azure Kubernetes Service at Simply Learn. Azure Kubernetes Service is a powerful platform for deploying, managing and scaling containerized applications in the cloud. We'll start by explaining what a Kubernetes is, which is basically a container orchestration tool that helps you automate tasks like deployment, scaling and management of applications. Then we will explore how Azure Kubernetes Service simplifies Kubernetes by managing the underlying infrastructure. So guys, before you move on, just a quick info guys. Simply Learn has got professional certificate program in cloud computing and DevOps in collaboration with ENICT and IIT Guwahati. In this, you can become an Azure, AWS and DevOps and cloud expert. You will gain hands-on experience through real world projects. So guys, hurry up now and join the course. The course link is mentioned in the description box. So let's start with understanding what is Azure Community Service. Azure Kubernetes Service is a managed Kubernetes service which is provided by Microsoft Azure. So basically, it's called as K8 or Kubernetes. It is kind of an open source platform for automating the deployment, scaling, and management of containerized application. If we talk with respect to Kubernetes, but this service is incorporated in Azure. So you can use it through the Azure portal. AKS simplifies Kubernetes operations by handling tasks like cluster maintenance, upgrades, and scaling, while giving you full control over your workloads. Now you would be wondering, what are the benefits of Azure Kubernetes Service? So first of all, it has a simplified cluster management. Azure Kubernetes Service manages your control plane for you, reducing the operational complexity. So that's why for any operation you want to perform, it makes it very much easier if you're using the Azure service. Next is cost effective. You pay only for the worker nodes as Azure provides the control plane for free. That is one of the greatest benefits of all. Then next is scalability. So it is easily scalable. You can scale it horizontally or vertically to handle increased demands. Now, if we talk about security, so you could see that it has built in Azure Active Directory integration in which you have role-based access control and automatic updates for security patches. And finally, you have integration with Azure services. It seamlessly integrates with Azure DevOps, Azure Monitor, and other services for CI CD pipeline monitoring and logging. Now, now you'd be wondering when you are going to use Azure Kubernetes and in what scenarios. So, first of all, let us talk about the microservice architecture. So, suppose if your application is built using microservices, then you can use Azure Kubernetes. Now, let me explain what exactly are microservices. So, in a simple terms, microservices are a way of designing applications as collection of small independent services, where each service handles one specific feature or function, such as user authentication, messaging, or payment processing. Okay, so I'll write all over here that it can be user auth or payment or it can be messaging. So these are some of the parts where you can consider where each of these services are built independently of each other. So this kind of architecture is called microservices architecture. Now let's see how Azure Kubernetes services can help in this scenario. Azure Kubernetes actually makes it easy to deploy and manage these individual services. If you need to update or fix one service, you can do it without affecting others. For example, in a messaging application like WhatsApp, you might have separate services for chat, file sharing, and notification. With the help of Azure Kubernetes service, each service can be scaled or updated independently, ensuring the app remains functional even during the updates. Now, this approach improves flexibility, reliability, speed of development, and teams can focus on specific services and deploy them independently. Now, let us consider the next scenario, which is high availability. Now, what is exactly high availability? High availability ensures your application is always up and running, even if there is a problem with a part of the system. This is crucial for applications that needs to operate 24 cross 7, like WhatsApp or consider any banking application. Now, in this scenario, Azure Kubernetes distributes your application's workload across multiple nodes or servers. If one node fails, then other takes over work automatically. This ensures users don't experience any downtime. For example, let us consider the same example of WhatsApp. 
Imagine millions of people sending messages during New Year celebrations. Azure Kubernetes ensures that if one server gets overloaded or crashes, the workload is shifted to the other server without users noticing any interruption. Now, why it is important actually? Azure Kubernetes service helps you meet user expectations by maintaining uptime and delivering a seamless experience, even during heavy traffic or unexpected issues. The third scenario where we can consider is building a DevOps pipeline. Now, what exactly is DevOps pipeline? A DevOps pipeline automates the process of building, testing, and deploying applications. It ensures that code changes move from development to production quickly and reliably. Now, how does Azure Kubernetes help exactly? Azure Kubernetes integrates with popular DevOps tools like Azure DevOps, Jenkins, or GitHub Actions to create pipelines. And these pipelines allow developers to automatically deploy updates to the AKS cluster after writing or testing new code. For example, if you are reading any new feature in WhatsApp, such as disappearing message, a DevOps pipeline ensures that the feature is tested and deployed automatically. Developers don't have to do this manually, which saves time and reduces error. This automation exactly speeds up the development and ensures consistent and reliable updates to your application. So in that scenario, it is very, very helpful. Now, finally, we have the global reach. Now, what exactly is global reach? Global reach meaning deploying your application in multiple locations worldwide. This ensures users get fast and responsive services no matter where they are. And how does AKS help? So AKS is available in Azure's global data centers. You can deploy your application close to your user's location, and this reduces latency, the time it takes for data to travel, and it improves the user's experience. For example, in WhatsApp, WhatsApp has users across the globe. So Azure Kubernetes service will enable deploying chat services in data centers in Asia, Europe, and the US. A user in India doesn't have to wait for messages to be processed by server in the US, which ensures that there is a faster communication. Now, why it is important? Because AKS allows you to scale globally, deliver fast services, and cater to users in different regions while maintaining the same high performance. So why you want to choose AKS for these scenarios? So the simple reason is that AKS or Azure Kubernetes service simplifies complex tasks like scaling, updating, and managing applications. Whether you are handling millions of users or rolling out new features quickly or reaching users worldwide, AKS provides the tools and infrastructure to make it happen with ease. So these were some of the scenarios where you could use the Azure Kubernetes service. Now, let us take a case study of WhatsApp, okay? Suppose you're building an application like WhatsApp and you have to use Azure Kubernetes. So how it can be helpful in this scenario? First of all, let us consider the first feature, which is the message delivery system. So you have to deploy microservices for chat servers, message queues, and notification. So here, each service can scale independently to handle traffic spikes. Next is, suppose you have a scenario of high traffic management. So during peak times, as we have discussed earlier, AKS can help in scaling. So AKS can scale up message delivery pods to manage millions of messages per second. Now, what are pods exactly? Pods are the smallest and the simplest unit in Kubernetes. A pod is a group of one or more containers, such as a Docker container, that are deployed together on a Kubernetes cluster. So pods are used to run your application and serve as a building block for managing workloads in Kubernetes. So this is a simple definition of pods. Now, the next feature where we can consider Azure Kubernetes can be very, very helpful, such as real-time updates. So you can use AKS to deploy updates to the app backend without a downtime. It will be like high availability, you know, when your application will be, you know, available for 24 cross 7. So here, the real-time updates will be happening. So in that scenario, Azure Kubernetes will be very, very helpful. And finally, we have the event-driven services. So you can handle features like typing indicators or reading recepts with separate microservices running on AKS. So when we consider an application like WhatsApp, we could see its certain features and how Azure Kubernetes is very, very helpful in this scenario. Now, let us proceed to the hands-on part, where 
we will be creating an AKS cluster. Now before you proceed for the hands-on part, there are certain prerequisites. The first of all that you need an Azure account. So you need to have an active Azure subscription. So you can see all over here that sign in or new to Azure, start free. You can click right all over here and you can click on try Azure for free and it is going to direct you to the payment page. Write your email address, create your password all over here. So when you give all your credentials, you will be directed to the payment process. So select the free trial plan, okay? So all over here, you have to give your credit card or debit card and only two rupees will be deducted. And after, you know, you have got your learning time, you can just cancel the subscription like before 30 days. So on no money will be deducted. So for learning purpose, I could uh, advise you to use the free plan. Now, when you have done all these things, so type all over here in this, that Azure Kubernetes service, okay? The same thing, and you will be directed all over here. So, so before proceeding this, there are certain more prerequisite. First of all, you should have a basic knowledge. So you should have a familiarity with Kubernetes concepts like pods, deployments, and services which will be very, very helpful because the same concepts we'll be using all over here. Additionally, if you want to use Azure CLI, okay, so if you want to interact with the cluster while later, you can install Azure CLI or Kubectl, which otherwise will not be necessary for this tutorial because here I'll be showing you some simple, you know, creating your cluster and deploying it. So first, after logging in and moving all over here and searching for Azure Kubernetes service, okay. Now, after this, what do you have to do? You have to click on create. So you can see all over here that it is asking, what is the subscription type? It is a free trial. And here you can uh, create a new resource group. So for example, you can give the name as EKS resource group. Okay. Now here you'll be asked the cluster details. Okay. So you can give the name as it as dev or production standard. Let us consider as dev test, okay? And here you have to give your cluster name. So say, you can say my cluster region, you can select US East, okay? Now, what is the region, okay? So choose a region which is close to uh, US. So here you can select zone one, okay? Now, AKS pricing is free tire and you can choose the latest Kubernetes version. So by default, they have given 1.306, okay? Now, if I talk about automatic upgrade, it is enabled with patch recommended. So if any update is coming up, it is going to be automatically patched up. Now, if I talk about automatic upgrade scheduler, so it is ever done every week on Sunday, which is the recommended time. You can also change this the first of every month, first Sunday of every month, and you can give also custom. And if you don't want to schedule, you can not schedule it, but this is not advisable. So we'll go with the recommended one every week on the Sunday. Now, let us see the node security channel type. So here we have selected a node image. So you can see there are a lot of options like none, unmanaged, security patch, node image. So we'll select the node image. Here, what will happen that AKS will update the nodes, you know, when any new patch is going to come up. So all your security fixes will be done with the help of this. What will be the authentication and authorization mode we are going to select? So basically with the help of local accounts or Kubernetes are back. Click on review and create. So this will take few minutes and after that your cluster will be created. So guys, as you can see all over here that we have created my cluster with the resource group name as AKS demo. Now you could see the deployment is in progress. Now let us go to a portal and try to access our resource group. Now you could see here we have our resource group as AKS demo and you could see that we have the name of our cluster, which is my cluster, and the type of service we are using, it's mentioned as Kubernetes service, and the location is Central India. Now, one more information, guys. Whenever you are creating a free trial account, so you won't be getting any good number of quotas. Generally, they give you zero quotas for your VCU. So with the help of that, you won't be able to create your, you know, Azure Kubernetes cluster. But you can request Microsoft to increase your quotas. So it will take 48 to 24 hours to do that in process. Now go to your Kubernetes services, just click on it. And you could see 
Here also you name like my cluster, the type, what is the resource group, the version of Kubernetes which you are using, the location name, what kind of subscription you have, what is your SQ. So all these things will be mentioned all over here. And you could see you have a lot of filtering options also like you could have subscription equals all, type equals all. So these kind of things you can add. And also when you click on create, you would get options like automatic Kubernetes cluster preview or create a Kubernetes cluster, add a Kubernetes cluster with Azure ARC or create a Kubernetes cluster with Azure ARC. So for that matter of time, it's not so much meaningful to us, but just for information like I am telling you. So guys, as you can see all over here that we have successfully created our resource group and also my cluster. Now, when you are having the paid version of this, so you can also automate it by writing the YML file to automate your deployment process. Like suppose you have created any microservice and you want to automatically deploy in Kubernetes cluster, then you can just use Azure platform and you could just automate all those things. But for doing all those things, you need to have a paid version of your application. Now, what else you can do? So for practice, for if you don't want to go for the paid version, you can use Kubernetes in your local environment and you can write a microservice and try to automate the deployment process for the same. Write a YML file and you can use Git Actions to automate your deployment process. So guys, that was all for today's video. I hope so. You would have enjoyed our today's video on Azure Kubernetes at Simply Learn. Thank you guys for watching this video. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.